You are at a Parisian cafe with a friend. A local in front of you buys a cup of coffee and a croissant for $5 or 5.30 euro. When you and your friend get two cups of coffee and two croissants, you are charged 14 euro. Can we solve for the price of a cup of coffee and croissant using the information in a system of linear equations and two variables? If yes, what is the solution? If no, what is the reason we cannot? So we're looking for two things, the price of a cup of coffee and the price of a croissant. So let's define two variables here. Let's let, since we have all these c's here, I'm just gonna use x's and y's. So let's let x, let's let x be equal to the price of the cup of coffee, cup of coffee, and let's let y be equal to the price of a croissant, price of a croissant. So we first have this information of what the local in front of us did. The local in front of us buys one cup of coffee and one croissant for 5.30 euro, 5.3 five, five, well, 5 euro you could even say. So how would we set that up as an equation? Well, we got one cup of coffee, so that's gonna be one x, or we could just write it x, plus one y, because he got one croissant, and it cost 5.30. So it cost, let me write this. So this is the amount that he paid. 5.30 euro, 5.30. So this is what the local, this, this equation describes what happened to the local. Bought one cup of coffee, one croissant, paid 5.30. Now, when you and your friend get two cups of coffee and two croissants, you're charged 14 euro. So what's an equation to describe this? So we should be charged two times the price of a cup of coffee. So it should be 2x. And then we should be charged two times the price of a croissant, so plus 2y. And the sum of these should be the total amount that we're charged. We're, we've been charged 14, 14 euro. 14 euro. So let's see if we can solve this system of equations. And there's many, many, many ways to solve this. But the most obvious way, at least looking at this right over here, is you have x, we have 2x, we have y, we have 2y. Let's take this first equation that described the local and multiply it by 2. So let's just multiply it by 2. So we're going to multiply both sides, otherwise the equality won't hold anymore. So we would get 2x plus 2y is equal to 2 times 530 is ten dollars sixty or ten euro sixty. Ten euro sixty. Now something very interesting is going on here. If the local had bought just twice as many or twice as many cups of coffee and twice as many croissants, he would have paid ten sixty. And that would have been the exact amount of coffee and croissants you got, and you paid 14. So it looks pretty clear that you got charged a different amount. You got the tourist rate for the cup of coffee and the croissant, while he got the local rate. And we can verify that there's no x and y that's going to satisfy this. And you, even logically, it makes sense. Here, 2 times an x plus 2 times a y is 14. Here, 2 times an x plus 2 times a y is 10, 10 euro 60. And we can even show that mathematically, that this doesn't make sense. So if we were to subtract this bottom equation from this top, so essentially you could imagine multiplying, so let me just do it this way, multiplying the entire bottom equation times a negative one. So let's multiply the entire bottom equation by a negative one. And then we add these two equations. Remember, all we're doing is we're starting with, say, this equation, and we're adding the same thing to both sides. We're going to add this to this side, and we already know that negative 1060 is the same thing as this. We're going to add it to that side. So on the left-hand side, this cancels with this, this cancels with this, we're left with zero. And on the right-hand side, 14 minus 1060 will get you to 340. And there's no x and y that you can think of. There's no magical x and y that can all of a sudden make zero equal 340. So there is no solution. And the only explanation over here is that the local was charged a cheaper rate.